Hey what's up guys so having a minimal workspace that allows you to stay productive and creative all the time is essential especially if you are working from home or if you have a studio room at home like me I started building my desk setup back in 2020 earlier it was just the desk laptop and few accessories but throughout these years I've added all the components of my liking to build a setup which is clean minimal and productive that all comes together to make my dream desk setup that I always wanted to make Let's start with the desk itself. The desk I am using is from IKEA. The tabletop is called Linmon and it's a very affordable option. It is 140cm in length and 60cm in width. The top and bottom material is soft to touch and is made of fiberboard. The frame though is made out of particle board with 70% recycled honeycomb structure paper filling. The top finish is smooth as it is acrylic paint. This tabletop also comes with pre-drilled holes at the bottom for mounting the legs of your choice. The only downside of this tabletop is that since it is made out of particle board, it is a little fragile so you have to be careful with the edges. Also the weight capacity of this Linmon tabletop is 60 kgs and it may be a little less for you but for my desk setup, I don't have any heavy things sitting on it. Ok so this Linmon tabletop is sitting on these classic IKEA Alex drawer units. This is probably the most popular drawer unit of the desk setups which you must have seen on Instagram. This 5 drawer cabinet in this white color looks very clean aesthetically. It is also made out of particle board. The height of these drawers are 70cm and the depth is 58cm. What's great about these Alex drawers is the amount of storage you get as well. So there's plenty of storage available. They are really deep drawers. You can store quite a lot in them. All my drawers are full full of empty boxes, cables, microphones, desk accessories and anything that I need on a daily basis. These drawer units are pretty solid and heavy. These came unassembled with the instructions and the assembly was easy. So I have two of these Alex drawers in white and with this white Linmon tabletop, my desk looks super clean and minimal. When it comes to tech, it's best to start with the main centerpiece of this setup. I have this monitor which is the LG 27UL850W. 27 inch 4K monitor with USB type C. It is an IPS LED panel with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 at 60Hz, has a 5ms response time, sRGB over 99%, free sync and a whole lot more. The panel itself looks amazing. It's nice and bright, vibrant and good thing about this monitor is that it is color calibrated from factory so colors it displays are accurate. The design of this monitor is very clean, very modern, with pretty narrow bezels and dark tones. The screen real estate is excellent, especially going from a specifically laptop only setup for a long time. This 27 inch screen size is I think fits perfect for my productivity setup. One of the biggest features of this monitor and for what I mainly chose this monitor is that it connects via USB Type-C directly onto my new M1 Pro MacBook Pro with one cable displays video, audio and supplies power. Thank god my new M1 Pro MacBook also still charges via USB-C port. This UL850W has very smart control systems which can be controlled with the joystick at the bottom. There's also a full hub on the back with USB ports, HDMI, display port, Type-C and a headphone jack. There are speakers built into this monitor at the bottom and those are pretty decent actually. I use them for streaming media and editing but I also use headphones for audio manipulation while editing. The display panel of this monitor has HDR support for HDR content. Also this has a matte finish on the panel so the reflections don't bother me. With all these features I think this monitor is an excellent choice for a MacBook Pro setup. So the machine which is powering my setup is my new 14 inch M1 Pro MacBook Pro in space grey and this thing has been a game changer for me. The performance of this M1 Pro chip is so amazing that this thing does not even blink for whatever task you throw at it. The fans of this MacBook Pro never kicked in even when I was doing video rendering in Final Cut Pro X. As all these ports are back on these new MacBook Pros, I no longer required to reach my hand to plug in stuff at the back of my monitor. Now I just plug everything straight onto my MacBook Pro, except for the USB-A port. If you want to see more info about this MacBook Pro, I have made a full video on this linked in the top right hand corner. 
going on to my first impressions of using this device. As for the peripherals, the keyboard I am using is the Keychron K2 V2 wireless mechanical keyboard. This is one of the best Mac specific mechanical keyboards out there. For the switches, I went for the brown Gatrion switches which makes for a beautiful tactile typing experience and also they sound really good. I absolutely fell in love with this thing when I first saw it in MKBHD setup. The design of this keyboard looks very minimal and clean in this grey color. Also with this outer aluminium casing, the build is solid. The keyboard is RGB backlit and there are a ton of RGB effects to choose from. The battery life is pretty long lasting and even if you run out of battery, you can still use this thing with a USB-C cable which is included in the box. For the mouse, I am using the Logitech MX Master 3 in this graphite color which I have recently upgraded to. Previously I was using the Logitech G402 for quite a long time. The design is very ergonomic and unique. It feels matte, rubbery and soft at touch. Not hard plastic like you usually get with the mouse. The way it is designed means it fits your hand almost perfectly and the shape allows your entire palm to hold it while you are using it. There are a lot of buttons on the mouse which can be mapped and customized for specific apps. There are two scroll wheels. The main one at the top is the magnetic scroll wheel and it is incredibly fast and precise. And the second side scroll wheel is very helpful for video timelines in Final Cut or editing images in Photoshop. It's excellent. You can switch between the devices by using the button on the bottom and you can link up to three devices. Talking about the comfort, I have to say, it is the most comfortable mouse that I have ever used. And this mouse is sitting on the Razer Gigantus V2 mouse pad. Speaking of accessories, I have added a desk lamp with the Philips smart bulb inside and I can adjust the brightness, colors with the Google Home or via its app. A fake IKEA desk plant for a bit of greenery and some of my favorite Funko Pop Spider-Man figures which adds an aesthetic to the setup. Also a Steve Jobs action figure, of course. The headphone stand is from Newbie in silver and white which matches the theme of the setup and sitting on the headphone stand are these Sennheiser HD 4.40 Bluetooth headphones which I often use them for editing videos and casually listening to music. That's pretty much everything what's on top of the desk. Underneath the desk, holding all the cables and power adapters is the IKEA Signum cable management tray which keeps all the cable clutter away and it also holds the monitor's AC adapter which is pretty big and just keeps things nice and clean underneath. Now lastly for the desk chair I use is this pretty basic ergonomic chair which I bought from my local furniture store. It is a very comfortable chair with height adjustment and locking mechanism for locking the back support. Personally I think this chair looks very ergonomic and clean as well as provides good comfort when I am sitting to get my work done. So this is the desk setup that I always wanted to make into reality. It is a place where I can sit and get my work done. The biggest advantage of laptop as my main computer is that I can dock in the setup and run the show and undock it whenever I want to work anywhere on the go. The focus of this desk setup has been on minimalism, functionality and of course productivity. Things are probably gonna change. I will be upgrading some things over time but for now this is my dream desk setup for 2022. Anyways that is it for this desk setup tour video. If you have any ideas or if you have any comments feel free to leave them down below. I'll try to link everything I talked in the description. Make sure to hit the like button if you guys enjoyed watching and also smash the subscribe button for more. I'll see you in the next one.